Good morning, three and four year olds. Thanks for joining me for Sunday school this weekend. It is so beautiful out. I can barely keep my eyes open. The sun is so bright. I even get to wear a t-shirt. It's so warm. I hope you can get outside with me. At the end of this, we're going to do an activity outside, okay? But first, we're going to sing some songs like we always do. And the focus, though, is going to be about prayer. Prayer. That's when we talk to God. Praying is just talking to God. And we can't always hear God talk back, but God listens to us. When do you pray to God? When do you talk to God? Yeah, that's right. When you're at church. Oh, yeah, and sometimes before bed. Yep, that's right. Oh, and before meals. That's, a fa that, that's when we like to pray, especially before dinner at our house. So today for our song, we're going to learn a couple prayers that we can sing before meals. Before we get to that, I want you to know you can talk to God anytime. You, you can talk to God when you're thankful or happy for something. Say, thanks, God. You can pray to God when maybe you're scared or sad. Say, help me, God. I need you. There are so many different times we can talk to God. You ready to learn some of my favorite singing prayers? Okay, I'm just going to pull them up here. Here we go. The first one's easy. It's called the ABC Grace. You know the ABCs, right? Okay, I'll sing it once, and then we'll sing it together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Thank you, God, for feeding me. That one's so easy. It's just the first part of the alphabet, and then thank you, God, for feeding me. Are you ready to do it with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Thank you, God, for feeding me. Amen. Oh, that's a good one. This one is the Batman Grace. This one is one of Addie's favorites at our house. If you don't know the Batman song, it goes na 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 Batman. Or or maybe na 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 Batman. Can you do that with me? Na 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 Batman. Okay, there are two different ways to do this. There's the harder way and the easier way. First, we'll do the easier way. And it just goes, the na-na-nas, and then thank you, Jesus, for the food, Jesus. Amen. Okay? You'll be able to catch on. Here we go. na 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 Thank you, Jesus. na 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 For the food, Jesus. I think I did that wrong. Let's try again. Ready? We're gonna fly while we do it. Na 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 na. Thank you, Jesus. Na 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 for the food, Jesus. Amen. That's pretty good. The other way you can do it. Have you ever done the prayer, "Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest"? That's when we say a lot at our house. It goes. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. And we can sing those words to the Batman song. It goes, Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. You want to try that with me? Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest, let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. One more time. Come, Lord Jesus, be our guest. Let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. You keep practicing. I'll think you'll get the hang of it, okay? Those are a couple of my favorites, and we'll learn some more another week. Now we're going to read a story. Did you know that even Jesus prayed to God? 
That's right, Jesus, God's son, prayed. And at one point, the disciples, Jesus' followers, Jesus' friends, asked Jesus, how do we pray? How do we talk to God? So I'm going to read that story. If you have the Spark Story Bible, it's on page 278. And this one specifically when Jesus teaches the Lord's Prayer. Are you ready? The disciples had seen Jesus do many amazing things. Heal the sick, teach in the temple, and pray to God. They wanted to learn everything they could from Jesus. Teach us to pray, they said to Jesus. Out of all the things Jesus did, they thought this was the most important. When you pray, Jesus said, don't be like the people who stand on the street and use big words, loud voices, and long prayers. Find a place where you can pray alone. Then you will think only about God. This isn't the only way to pray. We don't just have to pray alone. What Jesus is saying here is don't pray to show off to people. Don't pray so other people can hear you. That's not the main reason to pray. The main reason to pray is because you want to talk to God. And we can do that alone, but we can also do it with other people. We just don't want it to be a big scene and make it all about ourselves. That's what Jesus is saying. So we can pray together still. All right, we'll turn the page. Jesus said this prayer to show the disciples how they could pray. You might recognize this one. We do this one in church. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Have you heard that one before? Or maybe heard it said a little differently? Sometimes the words change a little bit. Sometimes I even like to say, Our Mother in Heaven. Isn't that different? Have you ever heard that prayer said, Our Mother in Heaven? That's right. God isn't just a, a dad or, or a man or a boy. God is so much more than that. And so we can talk to God any way that we see God. Sometimes I feel like God is my comforting mother, my strong, loving mother. And so I like to say our mother in heaven. Or sometimes God created everything around us. God is our creator. So sometimes I say our creator in heaven. That's right, there are so many different words we can say. But this is how Jesus taught us. And these are the kind of different words that we've been given to pray to God. And I think it's so special that we can say all the same words together. Okay, I'll keep reading. When Jesus said these words, he was saying that God is holy and important here on earth and in heaven too. He was asking God to give him what he needed each day. Jesus was also teaching us to ask God to forgive us all our sins, which God always does. God always forgives our sins. And help us to learn to forget, forgive other people. That's right, it's good for us to forgive our friends and our family too. Jesus, Jesus asked God to help him remember to do what's right and not what's wrong. He finished his prayer by saying that everything in the world belongs to God forever and ever. Jesus taught the disciples so much about prayer, they never forgot how Jesus told them to pray or the words Jesus used to pray. I love that story. It's... Prayer is so important. It's one of those fun things that we can do together. We can sing it. We can do it in bed by ourselves. We can do it with a friend when they're sad. Prayer is so special and meaningful. It's just a chance for us to talk to God. 
And how cool that we have a God that listens to us. We are going to do a couple activities outside around prayer today. One of the things that Addie was doing last night, she was collecting, I don't know if you've noticed, but all the leaves are falling off the trees and there's sticks and all sorts of things that are falling to the earth. And we were putting them in big piles. Sometimes for me, it's kind of fun to pray while I'm doing something. So I thought maybe we could collect different things and make different piles in our yards and they can be our little prayer piles. Another thing we can do, if you have any sidewalk chalk at home, is you can draw or write prayers right on your sidewalk to remind us of God's love or to say all sorts of things to the world about who God is. A good reminder for what, what talking to God can look like. Do you want to come with me and We'll do a couple of those things. All right, I'm going to switch to my phone so we can move here. Ready? I've got my phone now. Can you hear me? Here we go. Let's go collect some different things. I'm going to look for some sticks and rocks, maybe some leaves. Oh, well, here, I found a couple pine cones. I like pine cones. Oh, it is so beautiful out. I'm going to get a big pile of leaves for my pile, my prayer pile. Leaves, every year they grow new, and then they fall to the ground, and they decompose, and they turn back into the earth. And then eventually the earth gets a seed, like the pine cones and a new tree is born. Oh, here's another different kind of seed. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like the squirrels have been eating in the yard. I'm gonna get a couple sticks too. Oh, here's a pretty stick that I found. Actually, Addie found this one from a birch tree. I love birch trees. They're beautiful. Okay, so this isn't the biggest. Oh, I got, there was a rock over there too. This one's kind of neat. Looks like it got colored. And here's another one. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it has some fossils in it. Reminds us how old the earth is. So this is probably thousands of years old. So I've got my little pile here. This is my little prayer pile. Can't see it very well, but that's okay. You can make your pile as big as you want. You can play with it and move things around and let it be a reminder to pray, to talk to God. Maybe we should even have a prayer by our prayer pile. Let's see if I can get it in there. There it is. Dear God, thank you for creating all of the world, the sticks and the leaves the birds and the bees, our family. Keep being with us and remind us to talk to you. We can talk to you about anything. We love you. Amen. Now we're going to go on a little adventure. I'll keep you on here. We're going to go for a walk. I'll try to keep moving here. We're going to go down my big hill in my backyard and we're going to move to my driveway. I think I set up some chalk there and we can color and write some prayers as well. Here we go. All right, we made it into the lower part of the yard, almost to the driveway. I'm going to hop down this little wall I've got. Ready? Oh, there we go. There we go, you can see that's the front here. I already got started a little bit. I colored a rainbow to remind us 
That's God's reminder to us that God will always be with us and won't abandon us. I made a peace symbol for God's peace. And I wrote, God bless. God bless everybody. Now I'm going to color a heart, I think. A sign of God's love is just what we need to finish the day with. Here I go. Color it in. There it is. There's my heart. Okay. So if you've got some prayer, if you've got some chalk, you can do some prayers right on your driveway. That's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me for Sunday School. There's going to be some fun things coming up, so keep have your parents keep watching their emails because there's going to be some fun things coming. Bye for now.